From the late 19th century through the early 1900s, John D. Rockefeller's Standard Oil Company was booming. It controlled around 90% of the oil rigs and pipelines, making it the largest in the United States history. There were many people who saw corruption within the oil industry, but the writings of one muckraker set up the process of collapsing Rockefeller's monopoly. Ida Tarbell, the only female in her entire graduating class of 1880, wrote over 20 books during her lifespan. She is most famous for her book, The History of the Standard Oil Company, which is an expose of the corruption of Rockefeller's company. Through this book, Tarbell informed the public of Rockefeller's practice of predatory pricing, or setting products at a very low price to drive opponents out of the market. She also educates readers about his use of horizontal integration and secret collaboration with the railroads to eliminate any chance of competition. It was this best-selling book that began the ending of the Standard Oil Company. Tarbell's book opened up the eyes of the people and led to the antitrust laws, which outlawed monopolization, attempted monopolization, or conspiracy or combination to monopolize. The Standard Oil Company was found to be in violation of the law and disbanded in 1911. Because Tarbell was such a big influence in the progressive era and in the creation of these laws, she was later honored in the National Women's Hall of Fame in 2000. Ida Tarbell should be in the progressive era Hall of Fame because her book opened up the eyes of the people, leading to the development of the antitrust laws which prevents monopolies in modern day America.